one word that I have for Dan is a friend. Empowering. Generous, ambitious, steadfast. Genuine, fun, sincere. The ultimate entrepreneur. Enthusiastic. Energy. Happy. Difference maker. Visionary. Inspirational. Inspirational. That's a tough one. Alive. Sincere. He always accuses me of using more words than necessary. Um, so one word's tough for me to come up with. Mentor. Authentic. I can't do it. <laughs> if I had to pick one word that would describe Dan Beam, uh, I would choose genuine. Open. He's open to the universe and I love that. Passionate. If I would describe Dan in one word, I would use Nerdinarni. Um, if I had to pick just one, I would say transparent. But I think the best word for you is an old uh, IT word, old school IT word, and it's WYSIWYG. It's what you see is what you get. Um, Stan Beam. Dan, thank you for being the humble, fun-loving, visionary entrepreneur that has inspired us all. Dan, it's been a great six and a half years. You've been a big part of my life, and I wanted to thank you. I'm going to miss this. Cheers. Dan, one of my favorite memories is the day we spent the afternoon looking for office space in Detroit. I was wearing a suit that day because you were coming into town. You got there and you were wearing jeans and a polo shirt. So everybody we spoke to was trying to sell me on the office space and I kept nodding towards Dan. He's, he's the guy that spends the money and it was, it was kind of a fun day. You found out that the, the president was in town and was going to drive by the OST office. Uh, Next thing you know, we have a OST presidential lemonade stand outside of OST's offices. You always write a fine line of brilliance and crazy, uh, and it's, it's an amazing thing that you brought to, to, to my career and brought to OST. I'd like to thank you for allowing me to be part of this journey with you here at OST. You've created a culture and a business and more importantly, a family that has just allowed people to thrive. And uh, I'll just leave you with this. You've been a difference maker. It's just been such a joy to work for you. You just come in the door every morning and you're laughing and smiling and it just makes my day. I'm really going to miss you, but I have a feeling you might need my help once in a while. So I get you a box of protein bars so you can take this to your new office. And um, if you need help with a scan or a fax, you know where to find me. Dan, when I hear your name, there are two words that instantly come to mind, husband and father. Dan, I want to say thank you to you for teaching me the importance, and all of us here at OST, the importance of putting family first. Your mentorship, your guidance, your enthusiasm, and love of family first has set the tone for OST. Hi, Dan. Just wanted you to know it's not very many people in this world that get to call their boss a friend and a friend a boss. So I just want to wish you all the best uh, as you go forward uh, on your next ventures and want you to know I love you. Uh, Dan Beam, you are a creative, dynamic, aggressive entrepreneur, but uniquely you also listen, adjust, and personally and professionally care about me and everyone you deal with. One of my weirder moments with you, Dan, was when I had to go into your office with your shirt button down to your belly button and you were trying to figure out the appropriate balance of how much is too much chest hair. Uh, it wasn't a conversation I was used to having at work but like here at OST that didn't even feel that weird. Uh, I don't know what that says but it's always been a pleasure working for you and laughing with you and we're gonna miss you. Dan one of my favorite memories of you is, uh, is, is how much of a, a sports and Spartan nut you are and the uh, bet you lost and ended up having to walk around OST in a Wolverine hat every day. So Dan, as I think about this day, um, the thing that I'll reflect on most with you is your passion and your generosity. 
uh, two qualities that I've definitely learned. Uh, and I think about, you know, an example, like sending the elementary school uh, kids from Grand Rapids to the sand dunes. You're so passionate about Grand Rapids and the benefit of the community and what you can do for kids. You saw this opportunity and immediately took it because it was the right thing to do. And you didn't think twice about it. And it's, a, it's part of that generosity of spirit, I think, that will live on in us and live on in those children that you've helped. Dan, one of my favorite memories with you has had to have been Onisha at Happy Grand Rapids. I know you said you don't like to dance, but your energy, your passion, and your excitement for Grand Rapids is amazing. And your excitement and passion for OST and all of its people is even greater. Dan, I want to thank you for all that you've done for the company and especially your effective and respectful communication. One thing I will never forget about is our trip down to Atlanta, Georgia, where you, I, and one other individual had the opportunity to ride in a rental car that you were driving. And in the 45 minutes we spent in rush hour traffic driving 85 miles an hour, you never broke eye contact with me once, even though I was in the back seat. Thanks again for everything. Everything that everyone says about Dan being brilliant and smart and uh, unique is, is true, but it's the genuine nature in which he carries all of those out that I think is really special about Dan. But my favorite story from those old times is when you pulled two of us into the conference room at our first office and you got that big long bony finger out and you poked me in the chest and you waved that finger under Meredith's nose and you challenged us. Don't you believe in me? Do you believe in me? I need you to believe in me. And man, whatever we communicated that day, I I'm here to tell you now, brother, we do. We believe in you. Thanks for many, many good years, my man. See you on the court. I think as I reflect on what the best way is to characterize you in one simple sentence, and that is that the best things that you do, you never tell anybody about. But the best things that the people of OST do, you can't stop talking about.